foremost, I really would like to thank these teachers who are lining the room here. They are master teachers, first and foremost, and they have invested in this program right along with us and have learned, some of them for the first time, some of them refresher, a whole new uh, educational strategy known as project-based learning, and you've probably started to hear a little bit about that. It's not really new, but how we're applying it in this two-week program is a little new. In classic project-based learning, they are preset problems that you tackle. We've decided to kind of throw that playbook out the window and said, let's pair these students up with real companies, real agencies, and let them tackle the problems the adults can't figure out. And that's what you're here for these next two weeks to try to do. About a year and a half ago, I had an opportunity to meet with a man by the name of Dr. Dressler in Indiana, who was one of the early pioneers in project-based learning on a high school level. And he said, Karen, you're gonna make two mistakes with the program. He goes, I'll tell you that right now unless you listen to me carefully. And I said, all right, Dr. Dressler, what are there? He goes, one. He said, you're not gonna challenge them with problems that are hard enough. They are far more brilliant, these students, than you will give them credit for right now. Challenge them with difficult problems. He said, that's likely to be the first mistake you'll make if you're not careful. Second, he said, you're going to give them too much time. He said, if we could get out of the way, kids could solve world peace in about two weeks. Give them two weeks. And I said, okay, which is why you're here for two weeks, not three or four, and which is why the challenges that you're going to be facing are problems that the adults and these companies and agencies have not been able to solve. And that's your challenge. Because as adults, we come in with our frame and our box and our experience, and it limits how we approach problems. It limits our thinking. We don't try to have it limit our thinking, but it does. You don't come in with those frames and those boxes and those preconceived notions. You come in with absolutely original thinking and innovative thought and ideas. And that's why we're so excited to see where we're going to be in a little less than two weeks from now.